um, of what recently happened in Bosnia, what is happening in different parts of Africa, these are all the realities of uh, destruction, the situation, um, the destruction of uh, Bali bombing. Uh, the real situations are are acute enough to tell us that this kind of thing is going on. And I must say, this might appeal to to the group of people, you know, the ones you know who are anarchists, the people you know, who, who who love to look at the darker side of the humanity uh, and not the brighter side of uh, the uh, of the human endeavor, you know, that that we all see on a daily basis. So I would say that uh, uh, as far as the details of uh, the issue are concerned, uh, this, this goes uh, overboard. While as far as the uh, literary value and uh, the academic value of the book is concerned, there's no doubt about this. Uh, the way it has been set, you know, it is pretty much a, a, a hopscotch kind of uh, arrangement in that it moves, you know, from one setting to other and from and back and forth. Um, the characters keep changing, uh, so th uh, there's not not much continu continuity in this. Um, the two things that I would like to especially mention about this: there was a, one whole chapter uh, that was devoted to an interview with God, uh, with the, with not with God, with a canine who ate. God, which was in the form of a quote unquote uh, a, a lady, uh, a, a, a young girl, a young Dorfolian Sudanese girl. Uh, so he, when she dies, God dies, this canine, a dog, eats God, or partially, and then acquires the trace of God. So he somehow uh, comes up and uh, at, a, at a certain point. Uh, comes face to face with uh, with the narrator, and there's an interview between uh, God, uh, with the the Canaan we had God, and the narrator. Uh, strangely enough, you know, never seen before. Uh, in this interview, there are no questions, only answers, uh, which I said, you know, was a, a, was, was a, a, a kind of a, a tool never used. Uh, uh, at least, you know, I haven't seen that kind of tool before, and. The uh, the answers are uh, detailed enough to let you know what was what the question was. Um, for example, in in in, the, in that interview, that's pretty eye eye opening. And in that interview, he explains and somehow um, tries to open up the eyes of uh, a common man to the follies you know that we all uh, that we all fall for. Uh, in in one situation, for example, I'll, I'll just quote a couple of words from here if, if I could. Um, for example, he says um, that the human beings uh, that dogs are either angry or not. Well, human beings have a whole spectrum of this um, emotion. You know, they could be irritated, they could be dejected, they could be depressed and all fall under a, a, a wider uh, spectrum of uh, uh, anger while dogs are, are devoid of that you know they are either happy or not but once he ate uh, God partially then he had all these kinds of uh, uh, emotions just like God um, that's one and uh, the other thing you know that I notice uh, in, in particular uh, was uh, the uh, towards the end, again towards the ending of it? You know, he uh, he somehow uh, there was only a glimmer of hope, a glimmer of uh, positivity that he um, expressed towards the end of the book. Otherwise, uh, it was all negative. It was all. Uh, loss, uh, 
hopeless. That kind of a background. So uh, I would say that uh, this book, you know, must be so for selective, mature audience only, and uh, it's not for mass reading. Uh, if uh, if you get a chance. And, and you are mature enough to handle the uh, the issue. Uh, I would uh, definitely recommend to select a few. Uh, once again, the title is "God Is Dead," and this is written by Ron Curie Jr. Um, I'll bring it closer to the camera so that you can see. And if you like to uh, go and buy, it's a fiction. I thank you very much. This was uh, just one. And uh, I'll keep on bringing you more uh, brief and analyses of the books that uh, that, that are lying in my shelf. And and also, I'll, I'll, you know, at the same in the same token, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank um, Mr. Frank Mullen, who uh, lent me this book. You know, who gave me this book. You know, and he thought probably you know, I would. Uh, I'm mature enough, you know, to grasp the issue.